Okay, so in this how-to video, we're going to show you how to add a PUP DMD to the E-Drive. Okay, so before we get too carried away, I'm going to show you the table, but you need a keyboard, you need a mouse, and a USB with a PUP pack. Now, we previously did a PUP pack, it's on the drive here in instructions, on Gilligan's Island, so we're using the same PUP pack. And I, I've already shown you how to download that if you go back to that video. Okay, so we'll just go back to show you that we've already got the table Gilligan's Island on the system for today's video. So we're going to be adding to it. Okay, so we'll be keeping this table as is and downloading and putting a brand new table on. So you have your original back glass and you'll have your normal DMD there. Go back there, see how you've got your DMD. So we'll be keeping that. We're going to add a table and we're going to get the PUP DMD where it's PUP pack and show you how to move the score down also. Okay, we'll just exit back out of the desktop. Now there's quite a few steps to this. If you've already watched how to do a PUP pack on the 32 inch back glass, it's very much all the same stuff, but there is a extra part to what we'll have to do. So you've got to follow it very clearly, do everything correctly to what I show you, and it will work. Uh, it takes a couple of times and you'll get used to it. So we go to Recycle Bin. I just want to bring up a page. The first thing we're going to look for is our USB stick. So it's new volume D, because you're always going to have C, E and F on the drive, so it's obviously going to be D. And we've got the PUP pack here that we downloaded. I showed you how to do that on the first video of Gilligan's Island on a pub pad. You've got all your options down here. The first thing we need to do is we don't want it to conflict with the ROM. So this is actually the ROM name. So we don't want it to conflict. So what we're going to do is we're going to go rename, click in behind it, and I'm going to do HH. So two H's and change the name. Okay, we we'll just need to bring up another page. I'll take one across to the left, and we have a new one here. Okay, so what we want to do is go to the E drive, so new volume E. We want to go on the folder, pin up system. Come down to your find pup videos. Okay, so this is where you put all the pup videos. If you've already watched how we did our back our pup pack for the back glass, that's that one there for one H. That's why we're doing it with two H's. Now we need both, so we're just simply gonna drag it over, the one we just renamed with HH. We we'll just wait for that to copy over. Yeah, so you just got to follow the video guys step by step. There is a little bit to putting in pup packs and pup DMDs. Okay, so before we go too far, what we'll do is we'll open this one up with the HH and we'll go right down to the bottom and we're looking for the option pup pack on full DMD. So you're always going to look for full DMD when it comes to a pup DMD or for the extreme DMD. Just click on that. And what you'll see is now it's got these three text files underneath. That's the option you've chosen. Okay, we'll just probably put that page across there for now. So we can come back to it. Bring up another page. Now what we need to do now is go and look for the table. So we'll go to uh, New Volume E. We'll go to Pinball. Visual Pinball. And... It's in actually in 10.6, so we'll go straight into tables here. I'll search for Gilligan's Island. So I'm going to type Gil, so I can find it easier. Press the arrow here for searching it. And I want this table here, so I'm going to do a copy. And for now, I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Now, when you reboot your machine, anything on the desktop on the C drive will actually just disappear, so you can just leave it there. Once you do a reboot, it will disappear. Uh, we want the back glass as well. So once again, right click, 
coffee and we'll paste it over there onto the desktop. Well, we want to rename it, it can't be the same. So we'll go rename. What I'll do here, we want to keep it as Gilligan Island. We'll just take the bottom piece off. So it's, it's named different, like so. And we'll do a rename, a copy, because we need to make sure the back glass is named the same. So rename and a paste. Okay, well, we're gonna put it in 10.7. Any new tables you want to actually put in 10.7 VPX. So you go VPX 10.7 and go to the tables folder in here. Just grab both and drop it on, get them copy. And there they are. Okay, so we need to do a little bit of scripting. Now that's why I've actually kept this page here up. If we do a rename and a copy of the pup pack with the two H's, we'll go to VPX 10.7 here on the desktop icon and click on it. Okay, so what it will do is it'll bring up the emulator here. So we want to go on File, Open, and we need to go and find the correct path to the table we just put in there. So we're going to go on New Volume E, we're going to go to Pinball, Visual Pinball, and we need to look for this folder here, VPX 10.7, and Tables. And we'll go and find it under G, here it is here, Gilligan's Island. Okay, so what you'll see now is it's actually loaded the table here. So we want to go to the script in here, so it's the second one down here, with the picture, and just click on it and bring up the script. Now we're looking for the game name. So right up here where it says C game name, we want to just copy and paste the pup pack file with the two H's on it. So now you'll see it's got the two H's in behind it. Let's drag that down a little bit. Click on this. The emulator go file and save. Okay, so we just made it so it's looking for our pup pack as the game name. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go to the F drive. We want to find the folder pinup starter. The very bottom one here, pinup E back. Do a right click, do a uh, edit. And we want to put a new line in here. So if you've watched the previous video on how to do a pup pack, you'll see that we put a line in here. I'll just grab another one. So it's the same again where you go copy. And we want to click in behind the last entry. Push enter on the keyboard to get a, a new line. And we'll go paste. Okay. Now what we want to do now is go back to the E drive, print up system, pup videos where we put the pup pack in there with the two H's. Do a rename and a copy so we can get it back again. And we want to go in behind where it says pup videos there. So we'll just highlight the old one, Western pup there, and we'll do a right click and a paste. And we need to do exactly the same here as well, behind the C, and a paste. Now you've got to make sure it's identical too, guys, so you've got the gap in between the E at the end of it there. Go File, and go Save. Okay, we'll go to the F drive again. Now what we want to do is, we want to make it come up in here. So the new entry, what we're going to do is come over to the desktop here, the icon, the P. This is your system to boot into E. So you do a double left click on it there with your mouse. And to make sure it's right, if we do a 
head up back here, do a right click. Just go to edit, you'll see the bottom line there we've got the two H's is now showing up. Okay, so we're getting close. What we've got to do now, so there's quite a few things you've got to do when adding pub packs. Is we need to go to new volume E. We need to go to pinball folder, visual pinball. And this time we're looking for a folder called V pin main. Scroll right down towards the bottom and you'll see an alias text, VPM alias text. Do a right click on it and go to edit. Now we need to put another line in here. Go in behind there. We'll do a paste. And you'll see it's the GI underscore 19HH. On the keyboard, put in a comma. And what I'll do is I'll do a paste again. But this time we want to take the two H's off the back of it with a backspace on the keyboard. So it's the actual ROM. So what it's doing is making an alias where it's finding the pub pack, but it's using the ROM GI underscore 1.9. Go up to the top and go File and go save. Okay, so we've made the alias, we've put on the table, and we've done the pup pack. Now what we do have to do now is we actually need to put it into our pin-up popper system, the table. So if we go over to our icon on the desktop here, and we go on my system, we bring this up, we want to click on game manager, bigger box will come up, and at the very top here, we want to go to Add Games. The all emulators go on the little arrow there, and we want to be looking in VPX 10.7 and come across to Scan for New Games. And it will scan the system for any new games. And there should be one in there, Gilligan's Island, that one there, that we've added. So just click on it, it will tick and highlight it. We come across to Add Game to System. This will pop up also. One game added, press OK. Now I tend to just click it off and go to exit and launch. Now all going well, it should be in the system and it should, it should be functioning, but we will have to move the score as well. So go to the letters to search for it and we'll go G. And go across till we find Gilligan's Island and there'll be no artwork so you can see Gilligan's Island there it's the one with no artwork now I'm not going to do a video on artwork that's we've already done a video on that it's in the instruction videos along with this one so you can go back and watch that one but we want to launch it and see if we've got it all correct oh actually sorry before we even bother we've got to reboot the machine sorry Anytime you put a new entry in, we need to reboot the machine, do a restart. Because what, what it does is the scripting you've just made in the F drive, on a reboot, it's actually going to be doing those commands when the machine starts up and goes through Windows. There's a lot of scripting that the commands start up. So it won't work correctly unless you do a reboot the first time you install a new PUP pack or a PUP DMD. Pup DMD being today's video. It's very important you do a reboot, a restart when you do a, a new entry like this. And I'll actually go back and I'll show you what it's actually doing. It's doing a shortcut and it's putting it on the C drive so that it'll function correctly. The Pup Pack. Some scripting going up then when that box popped up. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go back. Let's go back to G. And we'll look for it. And here it is without the artwork. And all going well, it should be functioning. I'm 
and there it goes. So what you're going to see is the score's in the wrong place. If I put a coin in, I'm going to show you how to adjust the score. But it'll be all functioning correctly. What we need to do now is we need to move the DMD score down, make it smaller down the bottom here. So the way to do that is we'll exit right back out to the desktop. Now we want to go on 10.7, the emulator again. This time we want to go to preferences. And we want to go to video graphics options. Now, where is this full screen here? Force exclusive full screen mode. We want to untick that for now so we can see our mouse. So we can uh, maneuver to do the score and click OK. We will have to come back and put that back on as well. Okay, so what I tend to do is when I've got my mouse here, I'll click on my system and then I'll quickly go, I'll show you how I do it. I'll click, quickly go through the left there, or the right there, sorry. And you see my mouse comes up here and I get it down to the bottom so I know it's already in the right place. So if you go to the right with your mouse cursor there, it'll come through onto the back box and if you keep going right across, it'll come down. See that? If it comes through there, I go across to the right and it comes down the bottom. You want to be around about there so you can find it pretty easy. Okay, so I'll show you how to do it. Go on my system and do it real quickly while it's loading. And you'll see my mouse is there. In fact, I didn't click it, sorry. And there we go. So now you'll see that I've already got it in place. Go back and find the table. Where are you? And there it is, we'll get it loaded. The cool thing about the DMD is you can move it and position it to wherever you want, make it bigger, smaller. Okay. Lost my cursor for a second there. Where's it gone? There it is. Takes a little bit of getting used to. I actually went up into the back glass for some reason. Okay, so you see my cursor there? So what we can do is we go down to the bottom corner here. You see where that, that triangle is? You press the left click and you can resize it and go all over the place. Make it as big as you want, small as you want height, width, etc. So I tend to just kind of line it up in the top corner there. To the left. Come back down to the triangle. And come across. And come down. It's a little bit of practice but you get pretty good at this okay I think we're pretty good there are we and you will go back on that yep I think we're pretty good there now what you want to do is an actual right click of the mouse now this is really important guys you don't want to save position globally because what that will do is it will save it to every single ROM in there you've got to save position for the GI9, the double H. The double H is what we renamed the folder for, and you just click on it. Okay, and that's it. Do a left click, exit back out, load the table and it should be all correct. Like I say guys, to get the artwork, it's already on the instruction folders where you watching this video from so just go back and watch it how to do the art from the credit the ball. there you go we have a cup getting that
Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give it a go. I'm saying, once you've done it a couple of times, you get used to what you're doing. Just follow all the instructions, every single one of them. If you don't follow them all correctly, then you're going to come up with errors, etc. So be very careful you follow exactly what I've done and make sure you reboot the machine. All the scripting won't work, all those commands, until you do the first reboot after putting all the scripting in there. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot to, I mentioned that I would show you what we've actually been doing. So what we've been doing is we've been scripting everything when we're doing the pub pack as well to run to the C drive, which is frozen. So I want to show you what it's actually doing, and it's why it's important to do a restart. If we go into pin up system, now these folders are exactly the same as you've been seeing on the E drive, but it's on the C. So you've got PUP videos. What you'll find in PUP videos though, the C drive's got a lot more ROM folders and PUP packs. So we want to go down and find G for Gilligan. And what you'll see is you see how they've got an arrow next to it. That was the PUP pack one we did. And the one we just, we've just done on this video here, it's the GI 19HH. And you see how it's got an arrow next to it. So it's shortcutting when it starts and it's putting it into this folder on the C drive so that it'll work. And we go in there and you'll see all the videos are in there. So that's what it's doing guys, is that's why it's important to do a reboot with the scripting from the F drive. I'll just quickly go back to that. Just so you understand what you're actually doing. Is the, the pin up starter we went on What we're actually doing here is we are putting it from the E drive into the C drive with the double H folder behind it. So that's why it's important to do the reboot and it's all this in the F drive, all these scripts, every time you do an entry like Voodoo as a pub pack, it'll get longer and longer and what it's doing is it's starting up the scripts every time you reboot the machine, every time you start up the machine and putting the shortcuts in there so that it's actually reading from the C drive. Okay guys, that's the end of that one. I thought I just wanted to make it a little bit clearer and explain what you're actually doing there and, what, and that's why it works. And thanks for watching.